All right, Bobcat Lady Cat fans, we are here, Coach's Corner. This segment sponsored by Roofmasters and Bubba's 33 in Long Beach, Texas. Today, our guest is girls head soccer coach Aaron Erickson. Coach, how are you today? Good, how are you? Man, we've had you on before. It's, you said 15 years now in education, 10 years in halls. Have these 10 years flown by, or they seem like they're going taking forever? They've flown by very fast. Yeah, and one of the cool things I know watching us is you know, forever and ever, Hallsville Athletics, so you, the girls' side, it was volleyball. It was softball. They were powerhouses. Now, soccer is getting mentioned in that same the key. Y'all's program has started to dominate in this district. What makes your program, what's made it become what it is? Uh, well, got a lot of good kids. Um, a lot of kids that do you know, a lot of things right with school and, you know, all things outside, they handle all that business very well. And I think they bring that into the program and it's just kind of a culture that they've built, um, you know, throughout the years. And it's just never changed for some reason. So I've been lucky to have that. Well, it's got to be some of the coaching also. You brought a different philosophy when you got here. And, I'm, you know, yeah, you got to be proud of that for sure. Yeah. And your numbers, tell us about your numbers. How many did you have this year? What? Uh, and players, overall, so overall in players, program. Any program. Uh, we're sit, we just sit around anywhere from thirty eight to forty four ish, something around there. I think we had uh, forty one this year. So that's uh, good numbers right there. Just yeah. builds a program. Yeah. Tell us what. How, tell us a little bit about this year so far. So this year we're you know we're very young. So I was kind of thought this would be honestly uh, kind of a rebuilding year per se, um, but. Ended up like a lot of kids step up. We, we have a lot of sophomores. We're sitting at seven sophomores and three freshmen right now. Um, all of them play and they're pretty big contributors. We have a good group of leadership with juniors and seniors. We have three juniors, six seniors. Um, just it's a very good balance. And you know, Camille talked about our chemistry, and you would think it'd be hard with the younger and the older, but it's really meshing really well. And it's kind of been, I think, our our main reason for our success this year. What is your record this year, Coach? Uh, we are 14-1-2 on the year. That's the rebuilding year, 14-1-2. Oh, my gosh. I don't <laughs> yeah. well, don't say reloading year. <laughs> yeah. Not a rebuilding, but I just, we were going to be young, so I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. What, what are your goals for this team? Uh, well, we would like to get over. We've, we've already broken a curse, well, two curses this year. We've, we've broken one. We want to shoot out. We're not, we're not very good at those, typically. Uh, we won the Terrell tournament uh, on a shootout, so that was cool. Um, and then we beat Longview, which we haven't done um, since I've been here. And it head up, we be, I think we went to a PK with them, but we beat them this time, and that was another one. Um, so I guess the next one would be to win a second round playoff game. That's all. What's it? Hey, I got to go back to the shootout because there's a lot of things in sports that are fun to watch. A soccer shootout. What I mean. What was the curse on the shootout? What do you think was keeping y'all from being able to win those? How I mean, I how, how do you – I mean, do your girls – because I've watched a lot – not a lot of the girls' soccer game. We've watched quite a few. And you've had some girls that can flat kick a, a soccer ball, I mean, through a brick wall. So, I can't – you know, what, what would cause that to stop? I don't really know. We have a hard time with something about going through overtime and being tired and then going into a shootout. We just haven't been very successful, and I guess the pressure, I don't really know what it is. So when it comes to the shootouts, do you already know before the game starts who your six are going to be? Six girls. It's six. five. Yeah, okay, five. do you already know the five that are going to take the kicks? Or And, and, and last minute you go, yeah, Camille, you're taking the shot, you're taking the shot. So I used to do it like that. Uh, this year I just said who wants it, and I just let five step up and take it because I didn't – obviously me picking wasn't working, so – Kind of change it up and uh, seems to be working on it. I just let them. I said, if you want it, you can have it. And they, and they stood up and they did it. And is soccer it. something, Coach? You've been a part of your whole life? Yes, for a long time. A long time. And did you did you grow up wanting to coach soccer at some point? Yeah, I mean, I think when I got into high school and was playing it, and I played football in high school too, but soccer was always kind of my passion. Uh, it's kind of thing I was kind of leaned towards, and then in college. It, Pretty easily made up my mind. So, so have you coach boys and girls soccer? Or just, yep, coach boys at Kilgore um, and and girls. Here. What's what's the, what's the hardest? 
Boys are harder than girls. Explain, Coach. Yeah, I was, I was really, yeah. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah, Explain, that. Coach. I'm going to hurt some feelings. No, it's okay. <laughs> They've had their feelings hurt. Boys yeah. are a little bit more of an ego, and they want to challenge you, and they kind of think that they know more than you before. Even no matter what your record is or what you've done, they, they've played for however long they've played, and they think they know more than you, and they'll challenge you a lot more. Girls – Typically, not all, but typically will just kind of get on board and just follow, you know, what they need. You do have those girls that do challenge you, and that's that's still a good thing, but I feel like girls are just kind of easier to, like, bring together. Sometimes boys tend to want to do their own thing, and it's kind of harder for to kind of reel that in, in my opinion. Hmm. Right. <clears throat> now, I, I know this is your guy said it even before the season is we want to get to do a soccer playoff game. And if we can somehow pull it off, we're going yeah. to. Coach, thank you for joining us. We appreciate everybody. This has been Coach's Corner with Coach Erickson. We'll see y'all next time, guys.